Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miriam J. And if you are new, thanks for clicking in. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my foundation, concealer, contour, and highlight. So I'm gonna tell you guys what's tea. I have super oily skin and I manage to wear my makeup all day long without any oil breaking through. Anybody that has oily skin knows, by the end of the day, your face is shinier than my lips. So if you wanna know my foundation, conceal, highlight, and contour routine, please keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so now that we look like a crackhead, we're gonna prime. So my skin is already cleaned, moisturized. I'm going to further moisturize with this Neutrogena Hydra Boost Gel. So I have super oily skin, super duper oily acne prone skin. Next we're going to go into our Benefit Professional. So on top of my oily skin I do have large pores, mostly in this area right here. So I'm about to show you my secret. The reason why my foundation always looks so flawless. So I'm going to apply Milk of Magnesia. I know, I know. A lot of people are like, what the heck? You're gonna apply that to your face? But it's literally just magnesium hydroxide, guys. It's not harmful. I mean, it may throw off the pH balance of your skin, but realistically, it hasn't done anything to my skin. But make my foundation flawless. So it does dry white, as you can see right there and right here. Now I'm going to apply the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the color nine. Okay, so some people think I apply my foundation so weird. I take my finger and I rub it in. So I do this so majority of the foundation can be on my face and not in my sponge. Now I'm gonna go in with my Real Technique sponge. This is a clean, damp sponge. I'm going to put one pump of that foundation on there and dab away. Always go down your neck, guys. Now we're going to take our Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand. I'm going to do an upside down triangle under both of my eyes. down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my forehead. I'm gonna take the pointy part of the damp beauty sponge and blend away. Now I'm gonna go into this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Silky Beige. So we're pretty much going to apply this anywhere we put concealer. I'm gonna give you the tea. Every time I do this, my makeup is literally like so bleak. So I take the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I mix it with the tan to deep powder. And I use those two combinations to bake. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward because I'm looking at myself in the camera and I look mad weird. So I put foundation over my lips, so my lips are pretty much gone. So we're gonna take this NYX lip liner in the color Urban Decay and liner lips. Okay, now that we brought our lips back, let's set the rest of our face. I'm gonna use MAC Studio Fix Powder in C7. And I'm gonna set anywhere I did not put concealer. Now I'm gonna brush away that bake. Okay, so now that we look like a crackhead with no eyebrows, I'm gonna take my Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Dark Brown, and I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera. BRB. So brows done. I concealed my brows with that same concealer, Tarte Shape Tape. I also put it all over my lid. And right now I'm gonna blend out the creases. Grab a blending brush. 
dip back into our Laura Mercier combo and set the eyelids. We're gonna dip into our Anastasia contour kit in the color Tan to Deep. This shade right here. And, and right now I'm just gonna bronze up my cheeks and my forehead, under my chin, you know, cause we're looking a little flat. So I'm gonna bring some dimension back into my face. I'm gonna take this NYX contour brush and dip into this shade right here. I don't have a card with me right now, but I'm gonna take my Anastasia palette, place it right where I want my contour to be cut. Make sure you have it symmetrical. Now we're gonna blend it out very lightly. Using this e.l.f. blending brush, I'm going to dip into this shade right here and contour my nose. So I'm gonna start off at the tip and go down both sides of the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna bring that right below my eyebrows. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush and blend everything together. So I'm gonna use my beauty sponge and dip into this shade right here. And I just wanna highlight a little bit more. So I'm gonna go down the sides of my nose, right below the contour and bring it under my eyes. All right, so now that we look like a crackhead again, let's take this brush and brush it away. Using this Morphe M510 brush, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here and bring some color into my cheeks, just a little bit. I don't really like blush that much. That's too much. Oh my God, no. Okay. All right, I think, I think we're good, we're good. I'm gonna dip into this MAC highlighter in Old Darling, and I'm gonna take a pencil brush, and I'm gonna highlight my nose. So I'm gonna put a little dot at the tip, and I'm gonna go down the center of my nose. Gonna make sure it's centered. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. brush, and highlight. My cheek modes. Do you guys see this highlight? Ew. I'm gonna go into this NYX Duo Chromatic Powder in Synthetica with my Morphe M510 brush. And I'm going to go a little bit below my highlight because you never have too much highlight on, never. And I'm gonna take my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And <coughs> okay, so now that we almost killed ourselves, I'm gonna apply some mascara. So I'm gonna apply my lashes off camera. If you guys wanna know how I apply my lashes, I did make a video on it. I'll link it down below. Be right back. These are the Ardell 523 lashes. Anytime I apply these lashes, people always ask me, oh my God, where do you get your lashes done? Oh my God, they're so cute. 
and I'm like, oh my God, no, I didn't get my lashes done. I just put the strip on and I got it from CVS for like $5. So I'm gonna go back into that lip liner and line my lips. I'm gonna apply Maybelline 656 in the original Fenty lip gloss. So this is my finished product. Anytime I apply my makeup, this is exactly how I do my foundation, concealer, highlight, and contour. My eyes may be different, but just know the base is the same. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. See you later.